Why is this giving me, like, Resident Evil vibes? What the, what the hell was that? What's up, guys, and welcome back to Paint the Town Red. Now, in this game, we have killed a lot of people. We've broken into a lot of houses, pissed off a lot of neighbors, but none of those things have really combined to make a workshop level that we would come to expect. Until now. Our first level is simply called Hello Neighbor version 1.7. I think that the creator wants to make Alpha 1 in the game, and it's still in development, but they just release a bunch of updates. I wanted to check it out anyway. It doesn't need to be perfectly finished. We have uh, a bunch of baseball bats flooding out of our toilet. That must have hurt. Okay, well, we'll take one of these. Hopefully they're sanitary. Looks like we're in a little bedroom, or no, it looks like kind of an entire house. Whoa. Oh, I see. So this is our house across the street. We have our moving boxes and stuff here, and that must be the neighbor's house. Why is it so freaking dark? I've never seen this in Paint the Town Red before. I can't see anything. All right. I don't know how somebody can put the neighbor in Paint the Town Red, but I guess we're gonna find out. Uh, I get to actually fight back, which I'm really happy about. I can't wait to just whack him upside the head with my poop bat. Hello? Neighbor? I don't know why I'm announcing myself. This is supposed to be stealth-based. This is really strange. It's like a very unfinished house. It's just sitting here watching TV. Okay, this is the living room. Do they actually recreate the house? Like, is the layout the same? Ooh, ooh, okay. Are you the neighbor? I like that I have the music cut in, but you don't look much like a neighbor. What's wrong with your hands? Did I lose him? Did my threat of getting poop batted actually make him go away? That's strange. Okay, we could just keep exploring. I'm hearing a lot of weird noises. What is this? What, what, what am I? Where, where is he? Who are you? There's like prisoners in here. Oh, that's really, really, really weird. Hey, 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 calm down. I was here to help you. <laughs> Listen, I, I'm sure we can get your arm into a sling. Oh crap, Mr. Krabby Neighbor's coming. Are you like, yeah, he seems to be on my side. If you can actually see. Let's, let's go out somewhere where there's a little bit more light, guys. No, neighbor, ow. Hmm, seems to be able to one shot throw me out. That makes sense. What if I try one of these side doors? I don't know why he has three doors, but I guess it makes sense to have a bunch of different points of entry, right? You can usually... Fall off the map? Yeah, you know what? That sounds kind of like something that would happen in Hello Neighbor. Before falling to my death, though, I'm pretty sure I saw a katana on the wall, which I definitely want for slicing up neighbor bits. So how do I get it? I just assume that there's a way to go get it, right? That's the kind of thing that Hello Neighbor does all the time, where they'll put something in plain sight, but you need to work for it. Um, do you think there's like a black floor here somewhere? No. Now I don't have a weapon. You're my weapon now, and we're gonna keep that in mind. Go through the rest of the house. Do you think that other door is a trap too? No harm in trying. I don't think you can pick up lights in this game, right? Like I can't carry any of this stuff. I wish I could, it'd be incredibly helpful, but nope, we are gonna try door number three. I'm gonna fall to my death. Oh, another secret katana, huh? Well, you know what? I guess it's uh, worth a try. Oh, tits. Two secret katanas. How you get them, I'm not totally sure, but maybe if we explore more of the house, it will tell us something. If you can really call this a house, it's really more like a diorama. I think there's this, yeah, there's a stairwell right here that might be of use. I th think, oh, that's really weird. Okay, yeah, it's just as buggy as Hello Neighbor as well, so it's really sorting itself out. It's like right below me right now. I can find my way through. Is there anything back here? I don't know why I just expect to fall to my death everywhere I jump. Oh, yep, I'll take a gun. Guns work for me. Ooh, more guns. Oh. It's the shooting gallery. That is really cool. So this should be a classroom? Uh, I don't know. Was that death? I can't get past anything. The doors are freaking difficult. That was something. Oh, that's the hidden room behind it. 
And then this should be the classroom. With the teacher mannequin and everything, they actually did a pretty good job of making the Hello Neighbor Alpha 1. What in the... Okay, I don't know what's happening right now. Maybe we should try the secret room. I think the neighbor's on to me. You don't see him, but he sees you. Hello, neighbor. Yep. Oh, okay. Get back. Oh. Uh... Ooh, I think I ruined things. I didn't mean to shoot the neighbor like that, man. Okay, he came at me. I just kind of assumed that if I shot him, he would keep terminatoring his way at me, but I guess not. Just don't stay back. Oh, 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 sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, I feel like he was a good guy, right? The police officer? Either way, kind of want to find out what all this is. Yeah, don't, don't mind me. I don't need a shotgun anymore, right? What? is going on? I'm like ascending to the heavens or maybe another way. Doesn't quite look heavenly. Oh. Okay, it's telling me to ooh, go down here. Uh, oh, I don't feel like this is a good idea. No, no, no. Am I falling? I can't tell if I, I don't think I'm falling. Press exit to leave. I don't wanna leave. I wanna know where I am. What is this place? Oh, now I'm falling. Now I'm falling. Yep. And I'm dead. I think because I finished the level, I can't die, but I don't, I don't, I, this game makes as little sense as Hello Neighbor does. And I really can't take one of these lights with me, huh? No, can't take my dryer light. Just poop bats. Okay, not incredibly helpful to be honest. So we now know that there is a trap to the right, a trap to the left. We can go upstairs to the shooting gallery, the classroom, or behind the shooting gallery where I'll ascend to whatever that was. Straight ahead would be the basement with prisoners, which is kind of strange. And then over here, this is just a dead end room, I believe. This is all darkness, but uh, there's nothing back here, I don't think. I kind of heard some jingling, but I, like, I need a light. I got nothing going for me right now. I'm just kicking stuff around. This would be the kitchen, right? And then he's hanging out in the living room slash bedroom. They actually did a pretty good job of laying out the house, kind of. Like, the, the creator in this game is incredibly difficult to use. Yeah, I don't want to disturb the prisoners just yet. What's going on over here? Lots of spooky stuff. Ooh, I don't like this. That's a lot of knives laid out. Oh, I don't like this at all. There's like things on tables for get, uh, cutting people up and stuff. I'm here to rescue you. The neighbor is behind you. Oh, you're all in it together. What? Why did he? Why is he teabagging? What's wrong with the neighbor? So what, what is he doing? What is happening right now? He's like glitching through the floor. I've never seen this in Paint the Town Red. Stop it. Stop, stop doing that. Ooh, crap, sorry. I figured that they would make the neighbor a little bit tougher than that. My God, just throw anything at him. He falls over. Um, bathroom. Another poop bat. Why does everybody crap bats around here? Just, okay, you're still alive, right? I hit that guy in the head by the looks of it. He's good. All right, so me and the police officer, we're getting out of here together. There's gotta be something going on with this level. I'm so confused. I guess we can check out the bedroom now that the neighbor left it. There's a door over here. It's interesting. What's, oh, okay. Well, we got a bunch of katanas hanging out in here. That's strange. Why would I need a secret katana if I could just take all these ones? Don't, don't, we're, okay, you know what? Here. You see? We're in it together. He's following me. Doesn't say friendly, but we're friendly. Yeah. What, what about your fist? You want me to take off your fist? I don't really think that's very appropriate, but if, if that's your wish, just hold hold still. Hold still. Hold hold still. I'm, I'm trying here. There we go. Uh, I, I told you it was a bad idea, dude. Not exactly the smartest guy, right? I don't know why he didn't like that hand. Maybe the neighbor made him do things that he regrets. I don't know what the neighbor's into, but either way, I wanna go back up here and see what's going on. That looks like the way to leave. That giant blue thingy. So what is this all about? I'm not trying to end the level this way. It's clearly an arrow, right? I'm, I'm clearly supposed to jump down here. And then, 
I'm in eternal darkness. And I'm dead. Okay, cool. Our next level is called Hello Neighbor Alpha 2, hence the strange blue house, and we have our house across the street with not a whole lot inside of it. Again, I know that makes it look like the creator is lazy, but there wasn't a whole lot going on inside Hello Neighbor either. So this is kind of accurate when you really think about it. I'm armed with a guitar. Why? I don't really know. I feel like I should go looking for secrets around back of these houses at some point, but right now, neighbor? Hello? Your house is really weird and it's oddly quiet in here. Ooh, oh, that's cool. He's actually hammering up the basement. So we clearly need to get in there. We could just sneak on by. He's got a urinal. He's got urinal cakes. <laughs> Shut up. Can't a man just steal another man's urinal cakes in peace? What's wrong with this place? Okay, he's got a nice big bed on the floor. He has no idea what's going on. Who am I kidding? Anything in the fridge? Uh, knife. Okay, I think it's supposed to be a key. No, not an Alpha 2. Alpha 2 is probably nothing going on in the fridge. And, uh, yeah, we got the bunk bed and stuff like that. Okay. Is there an upstairs, I wonder? I, I want to say that there's probably nothing going on behind these houses. Ooh. What is this? Oh, it's a shed with a gun in it. Ugh. Why are you so loud? Maybe it's because it's really quiet in here. Either way, that's a very wet urinal cake. I just had that in my hand. Not to burst your bubble, but considering we just went around the back of the house and saw that there's really nothing going on here, I'm gonna guess that, uh, whoa, whoa, calm down to that door, whoa, doesn't really have a whole lot going on behind it, down, neighbor, down, what the, <laughs> there we go, that's more neighborly of you, holy crap, he's a Terminator, he doesn't have a face left. Um, uh, okay, we need weapon, weapon, weapon. Where was, oh, there's the fridge, there, fr close the fridge on me. I need that knife. I don't want to get hit by his stupid hammer. There's not a whole lot of space in here. Eh. Stop it, stop it, neighbor, stop it. You don't have eyes left to see me with. You just have little holes in your head. Oh my God. Oh, yes, urinal cake, Krubak. Eat urinal cake. Holy crap. Why is that such a loud clunking noise? Stop hitting me. Oh my God, I'm so screwed here. Toothbrush, toothbrush to the face, he's invincible. There's, there's no freaking way. How about we put his invincibility to the test? So what I'm gonna do is pick up every single weapon in his house and bring them outside. That way, I didn't wanna curl the meat across the lawn. Why does it always do that? <laughs> that way, we won't be inside like caught right up against him in his stupid hammerly reach. So once I get everything accumulated outside, we'll get the shotgun and we'll do our best to remove his face again. The last neighbor would die if you sneeze on him, and this guy would survive an atomic bomb. I don't know why there isn't a careful in-between, but either way, we've accumulated every single weapon. They're all out on the front lawn, so now I'm just gonna do my best to surgically remove your face. You can't see me without a face. I feel like headshots should do the most damage, right? So we're just gonna not get hit by him and just chip away at that skull with, eh, ow, okay, no, don't get hit with him, don't. You stop, but you, you look so gross. Like a spit out Jolly Rancher. Just gonna bash him with the jug. Jug is down, guitar, really, oh! Yes, go guitar! I was making fun of why I was arming myself with a guitar earlier. Apparently, it's the most godly weapon in this game. Yeah, suck it, neighbor. Is that disturbing? I feel like that's not disturbing. Let's whack his balls with it. And this level has about as much of a basement as the beta does. So that was it for the Hello Neighbor levels. There weren't any more in the workshop. If people want to create more and watch me play more of them, I'd be happy to. But right now we've moved on to a level called Mental Breakdown, which uh, still seems kind of on theme. It looks like there are a bunch of police officers hanging out in the woods for some reason. There's some kind of kinky party going on in here. Am I allowed in? Am I with the cool kids? Here, look, how about this? I'm a police officer now. Nobody knows the better. I'm just gonna go in and make sure nobody's uh, injecting the weeds. Don't blow that in my face, I'll murder you. Are there any kids in here injecting the weeds? Hello? Oh, crap. That's not injecting the weeds. What did you do? Is that what we're up to? Oh no, wait, you're just making dinner and this guy's asleep. Right? Yeah, this isn't, this isn't what it looks like. 
Maybe the party is back here? I don't see any party. I'm so... I didn't do that! I didn't- I didn't do that! No people are gonna think I came in here and set this- Oh my god. Hmm. I'm starting to think we're not police officers. This is- Ooh, oh. What is going on right now? Oh, this is- Whoa, whoa, whoa! Hey, 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 no! I'm- I'm- I am a police officer! I'm not a police officer! Whatever you guys want. I think that this is supposed to be an insane asylum. I think I read that in the description. Uh, and, uh, hey, 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 I thought you were dead. You dead now? You still insane? What's wrong with the, the doors in this game are insane? <laughs> this is like genuinely creepy though. Like every guard has been murdered and there's just prisoners running amok. Very cool level. Okay, what's going on over, employees only? I'm, I'm a police officer. Are uh, we good? Joe, how you doing? Oh, just smoking would kill you? Ow, you dick. Get, get the hell out of here. Sir, stop resisting arrest. There we go, he's not resisting anymore. Ew, don't bleed on me. Why is this giving me, like, Resident Evil vibes? What the, what the hell was that? Oh, oh, come on. I told you not to bleed on me, you jackass. Now I can't see through my shield. Uh, uh, what is happening? Uh, oh, I can't use it. This is crap. This is so crap. Why do I feel like Pyramid Head is gonna come? Yes, yes. Uh, that, that, let's go, oh, bloody. Hey, hey, hey. Stop it. Where, where are my guard friends? Okay, you know what? We're just gonna keep our shields up and, uh, uh huh. No, 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 no. Why is this not working? I'm going back out with my friends. Oh. What? Oh, okay. Oh, that's actually. Okay, that's really creepy. Oh man, this level is unreal. There's prisoners freaking everywhere. I am not on the right side. You know what? I was never a police officer. I was just pretending to be one of them. I wanted to get into a party and inject the weeds. You guys gotta believe me. Riot shield? No, I don't have any riot shield. He has a riot shield. Shut up. Stay back. Stay back. This is my rage cage. Oh crap, I don't have nearly enough. Ah, uh, weapons. <laughs> This level is actually unnerving. This is cr I did not expect there to be some kind of plot twist in this. Listen, man, I can't make out your name tag. I'm new on the job, and I wish you would stop blowing smoke in my face. I'm trying to tell you you're gonna die. You're all gonna die. Prisoners are gonna come flooding out of the woods and make you guys explode into little clouds of meaty cubes. This is, this is crap. Okay, we're going back in. Uh... Uh, where do they come from? I don't, like, I know there was two guys over here, right? Just hanging out behind the door. Yeah, you guys aren't a surprise anymore. Sit down. Just, just stop that, right? And you're gonna get back up, but you're not gonna get back up because you're not gonna resist any more arrest. Where are the other ones? I went in here, and they just came out of nowhere. Where, where are you guys hiding? Wait, oh, where, where did you come from? No, no, I refuse to believe. I refuse to believe there was somebody just standing right here. Didn't try to go through these doors. Whoa. What is this? It's a button. Can I hit the button? I hit the button. What is that? What is this doing? This is some kind of weird machine. Oh, like super Resident Evil vibes. Everybody go away. I'm trying to figure out secrets. There we go. You didn't need any skin on your head, did you? Okay, so what's going on with this? I, uh, just get that off there real quick. So I hit that button, right? If I turn it off, it turns this thing off. If I turn it on, it turns this thing on. What is this thing? Stop twitching, you're freaking me out. So it's a bunch of green, and then one of them are red. If I go over here, something back here. This is, this has to be something, right? Maybe I'm missing something? Is this some kind of reference that I don't get? Either way, I have a bat now. I feel a little bit better. Uh, oh god, all those guys are gonna explode when I go through here, right? Uh, yeah, they all exploded. Okay, okay, okay. I'm just gonna run down here, right? What's going on in here? What is that? What, what is this? It's like a throne with an apple. Okay, you must be the apple king. Why is it telling me there's only two people left? One person left, that doesn't make any sense. What about all the people that were outside? I didn't go back out there yet. So if they don't spawn, do they not count? I wish you would put that stupid shield down. Oh, ho, 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 ho. 
<laughs> How do you like that? That was a jumping between the leg backswing that took every inch of skin off your stupid head. Um, so, it, it told me that everybody's dead, right? So if I go outside, there shouldn't be a ton of people waiting for me. I have my doubts about that. All of these rooms are just cells, right? They have a, a crapper and a place to sleep and that's it. Like an insane asylum, as you would expect. Um, oh, I still hear all the bleeding. Right? Hey, you guys are still dead. I'm not losing my mind, right? I came out here and people flooded out of the trees. This is such a strange level. Like, there's so much going on here that I have never seen in Paint the Town Red. And I really like it because it's even having me question if I'm gone insane or not. Okay, you know what? We're just gonna, uh, berserk our- oh, no, yeah, I wanna berserk. There we go. We're just berserk our way into victory. I'm glowing because I'm nuts. <laughs> I think that's gonna be it for this episode of Paint the Town Red, guys. And I gotta say, I'm really happy to see that they recreated Hello Neighbor in this game, even if it was like, super silly, okay? It was far from being well done, you could say, but I, I could pick out where we were, different locations and the layouts and stuff like that, had a few random scares and laughs, so it was good fun. And the last level, Mental Breakdown, one of the better levels that I've played in this game. Incredibly unnerving, had hair standing up on the back of my arms at points, just awesome. Thank you so much for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.